The first story I have to share happened when I was 13 years old. I used to live with Mia Vo and we had gone to a Protestant church. There was a lot of people in it, but I was distracted playing Pokemon. So I had no clue what the preacher was saying. At least until he started speaking some parcel tongue language. <laughs> Actually, uh, it was more like this. <laughs> So I paused my Game Boy to try to listen to what he was saying. Uh, uh, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Then my other self showed up to talk about it. What? Sorry you have not explained about that guy. That's gonna be a story for another video. For now, all you need to know is that he's gonna show up sometimes and no one can see him. It's like a dungeon master making side comments to my mission. Not that I had any missions besides getting the Mewtwo that was on level 70. So he told me that this guy had this other guy who was not his other self, but pretending to be a higher self telling him things that would prevent him from being himself. The preacher then started speaking normally again. He said that God had delivered a message to him. Something about some blast. Uh, keychains. And I don't think it was just one. There were hundreds of them. So he started selling them for about a loony in Brazilian currency. I remember seeing a lot of people in line waiting to buy it. Even Mia Vó opened her purse to purchase one. She asked if I wanted one and I was uh, sure, why not? So I got my keychain and I was happy about it. But my other self was unusually quiet though. I went to bed earlier that night and in the next morning I had a lucid dream. Which I like it because it can just turn gravity off. So then I was fluctuating like my other self does. Uh, he was not there. Instead I saw some new thing. I swear I freaked out when I saw it. And I cannot fly or run away when I'm scared. I woke up immediately. It was too early before time to go to school. I wanted to ask my other self what on earth was that thing? But every single time I have questions, he never shows up. Maybe he's question phobic and that's why I don't ask questions anymore. That creature from my dreams kept showing up many times when I was asleep and I wasn't very happy about it. So I had to get some help. The first advice I got was to pray. So one night, when this creature came, I told him to go away because I was protected in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> it didn't really work. So then I tried a dream catcher and he was still there. It seems no one had a decent solution for me. One night I got so fed up that I said, alright, if I see him again, I'm gonna get physical. So I actually managed to punch him in the face. That was a bad idea. He was like, do you think you can defeat me? And then all my consciousness just disappeared. It was gone, I was running towards dark halls all night long trying to hide myself from it. When I woke up, I was... I kinda cry a little bit. And when I get emotional, OS shows up with questions. Yeah, he can do questions. So he asked, have you considered that you may be possessing an artifact that has energies that this creature can use to teleport to you? And I was like, what? No. And he was like, uh, something that you chose to bring home? No, 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 no. I still saw the horrifying creature sometimes, but as everything changes, I eventually stopped dreaming about it. There was no conflict, no epic battle that cast him away, no critical roles, no demonic possessions, which by the way, I do have a story to share about it. Not a video. The thing is, this creature has just disappeared. Maybe it was OS trolling me all along, but I was actually very relieved I was dreaming normally again and turning gravity off. My keychain also disappeared by the way. <laughs> I must have lost it somewhere. <laughs> Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. It's my way of knowing if people want more videos. The more subscribers I have, the more videos I'm gonna make. Click here to watch my next video where I talk about the day OS and I became one. And don't forget to like it. Thanks, bye.